This game is fucking retarded. I know that's not exactly in-depth analysis, but what else can you say about a stupid game based on one of the most vacuous, insipid pseudoscience television shows ever? The conclusions these assholes reach on the Deadliest Warrior TV show have less scientific veracity than shit you'd see on Letterman's Will It Float sketch. At least on that show, you get fucking repeatable results. This whole thing is only downloadable from Xbox Live Arcade, and it looks like crap. Hair in this game looks like someone stapled ribbons to their head, and their look is only slightly customizable if you're masochistic and play through everyone's single-player campaign. And you won't. There's only eight playable characters, and in a fighting game, that's just inexcusable. I hear there are more planned as DLC, but who's fucking brain damaged enough to want to spend even more money so you can just play as William Wallace? There's no story mode, of course, it's just a mindless slog through all the other fighters. The only reason you might have picked this game up was the online multiplayer, so I guess that's as good a place as any to start. Now, you're about to see my very first game of Deadliest Warrior against Sean Faust. I'm the pirate, and he's the Spartan. Now it's time for me to muster up all my gaming skills, hone to perfection over the years to attain complete mastery over fighting games, and become the Lord of Tekken! This is gonna be sweet, because I've been meaning to teach Sean a lesson for a while now. GET YOU SOME ASSHOLE! What the fucking bullshit?! Did you see that?! He just chucked a fucking spear through my fucking head! Oh my god, look at this! Oh! Oh, no! Come on! So, yeah, that's the game! There's a life bar, but it doesn't mean anything. There are characters with instantly lethal melee combos like the Apache, who, by the way, is a real cheating motherfucker. And if you get hit in the back or head with a range attack, you just die instantly. Like the show, everyone has a long, medium, and short range weapon, but strangely, when you start the fight at medium range, your character has his short range weapon drawn. You'd think because long range weapons are so lethal, you would just go for headshots every time, but you can't aim your range attacks. It's just that certain characters naturally aim for certain areas. The Spartan likes to throw for the head, but characters like the Ninja and the Apache just aim for the legs. They just do, and you can't do anything about it. That's part of the reason why the Spartan is fucking broken. The multiplayer isn't even coded that well. If you're playing someone online and you want to change characters, you have to back out of the session completely, quit the whole thing, and start a new session with two new characters selected. It sucks! Most people compare this game to Bushido Blade since it purports itself to be about accuracy and how much punishment a person can take and the effects of damage on certain areas of the body. Like if someone breaks or cuts off your arm, you can't use your shield or range attacks anymore. And that'd be fine if you had any way at all of controlling where your strikes land, but you don't. The gameplay boils down to mashing a single attack button and just hoping you get lucky. See, Bushido Blade was based on expert timing and skill, whereas this game controls like the spinning cup right at fucking Disneyland. I know I know this sounds silly, but your character does not automatically turn to face his opponent. It's actually something you have to do manually, and for some reason this is much, much more difficult than it sounds. Wins and losses, hit detection and injury effects, hits and blocks are all based entirely on luck, as if the game feels like letting you win sometimes. You can do fatality moves just by pressing two buttons at the same time, and they're never any different, so they get old immediately and contribute nothing to the game except senseless gore. It seems really stupid having a game where you can execute your opponent being based around a three-round system, especially when you can execute the other guy in every single round. There's really not that much else to say. There are a few mini-games where you hack at pig carcasses, but again, it's just mashing the A button until they're all gone. It doesn't even have the complexity of the car-smashing bonus round in Street Fighter 2. Look, I can appreciate the desire to play a game where you can be fighters from radically different cultures and eras in history. It's a cool concept and definitely well worth exploring. And it has been explored in, oh, let's see, every other fighting game ever made! This game and the TV show is the intellectual equivalent of crapping in your own hand and smearing it on your face and TV screen. Grow up! On <laughs> guard, you scurvy dog.